When the action starts inside the ring, our referee, Mr. Larry Downs Jr. Here we go, pro, about to be the first uh, fight of the night. Have you ever been the first fight of the night, amateur or pro? Uh, first fight of the night, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, I don't think so. I usually am at the end. You are pro, it's awesome. Beautiful jab to start this out. Ooh, nice clean there, right there by Anton. Anton's got clean, straight punches. Chase is pushing the pressure right now, trying to be the aggressor. He has to. He seems to be the uh, fighting the shorter fight tonight, so he's got to get inside there. Nice little jab there by Anton. Another jab. We saw some beautiful jabs two weekends ago at Game Bread Boxing by our guy Devin Cushion in the main event. Yes, big shout out to Devin Cushion. Ooh, nice Ooh. connection there by Anton. Anton's got some beautiful ones and twos. If he keeps those going, he can he can land all night long. These are heavyweights right here, guys. These aren't uh, flyweights. Pushing a ton of energy so far in the first minute of the fight. Absolutely. And <laughs> Anton in the blue, Chase is in the record. Oh, big shot there by Chase. Seemed to more like a stumble, but. Chase is doing a fantastic job of keeping the pressure on Anton. Ref Larry Downs counting to 6 7. Chase is trying to get a finish here late in round one. 10 seconds. Another knockdown. The end of round Saved one. Saved by the bow. Wow, what a round because Anton dominated seemed like the first minute, even minute to the half, and then Chase with two knockdowns in the last 30, 40 seconds there. He's doing a great job of utilizing forward pressure. He's He wasn't really landing in the beginning, right? He was getting caught. In fact, he was getting caught most of it, like you said. Um, Anton was winning the majority of that the first round. But Chase did a fantastic job of readjusting and just utilizing the forward momentum pressure right now is what's winning this fight. Couldn't agree more with you, Pearl. There's just something to it. There's a relentness to it. There's a, you just tire your opponent. You welch your opponent down with just continuous forward pressure like that. Absolutely, it is. It's demoralizing to be on your back foot, to, con to constantly give up that real estate. You feel that whether you're landing or not. That is, that's a big, big statement. Um, you know, to give up your real estate. Yeah. Begin the round two here. Uh, you challenge any person just to, you know, you, anyone can walk around their uh, neighborhood forward, but just imagine doing it backwards. Right. It's, just, uh, it's a different little uh, work out there. Absolutely. Beautiful right hand. Straight down the middle, Chase. Straight down the middle. Nice there, one, two there by Anton to start off the round again. Part Chase of, connects. Part of Anton's problem is he's moving as he's hitting and he hasn't quite figured mm. out how to do that. So he doesn't have good balance, which is forcing these strikes to land and, and also take him off balance, which is causing you know him to drop. Yeah, sometimes you only get hit made by a four out of a 10 power, but if you're off balance and you're out of whack, you can fall. Absolutely. Feet under you at all times. Your feet have to move first before your hands do. Quick shout out to one of our sponsors here, guys, at Island Fights, Tree05. Go, go, go give them a follow right now on socials, Tree05. When Chase throws straight down the pipe, he's landing, and he you can tell he's got the power shots. Action right in front of us. Chase is really putting it on Anton here halfway through round two. Such a great fight for both of these gentlemen. They're both going through and overcoming challenges right now in this fight. It's it's fantastic. Both fighters making their debut. The old uh, mouthpiece trick. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice little reset, it really is. And sometimes you need that. Oh, Anton with a nice counter. 
Both men seem exhausted here at the end of round two. Nice. Nice shot there by Chase. Oh, big shot connection, big counter by Anton. Both gentlemen landed big shots. 10 seconds. Now Chase stumbled. What a round, both gentlemen. Hats off to both gentlemen. That was a great round by both of them. You can tell that Anton likes a clean fight. He likes the distance. He likes, he's got good technical strikes. And Chase is doing a fantastic job of making this ugly right. and bringing the fight to him and forcing the pressure and closing that distance. And, and I think that Anton is really having to learn how to overcome that. And I think he would have a lot more success if he just plants his feet and, and continues to throw straight down the pipe. Um, but he gives up that real estate and that makes, you know, he's just off balance and that makes it that much harder for him to not only land, but to block shots, to, to utilize his defense. Sometimes in a fight, you just got to uh, take your stand. You know, you got to cut the line in the sand and say, no, I'm not moving back anymore. I'm throwing and we'll see what happens here. But round three, Anton Yuli in the blue. A guy, Chase Wolford, coming out of the right corner. Let's see the deciding round, maybe, of this fight. Good body shot right there by Chase. There he goes. And he's now, see, he's planted, and he's landing bigger shots now. Beautiful call by Pearl Gonzalez. Big shots here at the beginning of round three. Oh, nice, nice overhand there by Anton. I love how Chase is going to the body. Nice hook there by <laughs> Answered by a beautiful <laughs> right hand. Woo! The gas tank is leaking on Anton Yuli right now. We have a big minute and 10 seconds left of this fight. Both gentlemen want it. You can tell both of these gentlemen are here to win. What happened? Oh, now peace. Even Chase is like, okay, that's a good one. We'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll take, take Ted. Yeah, we'll I'll take, take it. Ted. We'll take Ted right now. <laughs> oh, nice jab by Chase. When Anton can really lean on that jab, it's beautiful. Yeah, he's he's got the longer strike straight down the pipe. Oh, nice little right, right there by oh, Anton. Two in a row, oh, three in a row. Oh. Oh, he's hurt. Chase is stumbling. These heavyweights are throwing right here. Island Fight 72. Oh, nice. Everything you got, Chase! Oh. Just barely missing is Anton. Oh, that was a big overhand. Everything you got! 10 seconds. Oh, at the bell. What a fight right what there. What a fun first fight. Both men left everything in the ring. That was a fun night. That was a fun night. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that Anton did a fantastic job of adjusting in that last round. He really utilized his long strikes. He planted his feet down and you saw the power. You saw his ability to, to make impact with his strikes once he got his feet under him. Um, so I think that that was a beautiful adjustment and a learning experience for him as well to overcome and realize, you know, his feet were not grounded. He wasn't planted. Right. With 100% with of that fight, I thought Anton was maybe more technical. You know, I thought Agreed. Anton was had the jab better for most of the fight. You just Chase had those two, three knockdowns and probably maybe the biggest shots of the fight. And yeah. sometimes the judges will really see that. You can argue that's a 10-8 first round because of the two and the knockdowns. Yeah. Uh, really, really good fight by both men. Yeah, absolutely.
SD Dumez, uh, Dana White Contender Series, just uh, came over here. It smelled delicious, though, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> smelled delicious. That's how we start off, guys, at Island Fight 72, a great boxing fight, a ton of action. Now to the first verdict of the night, Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, since this was an exhibition bout, there's no scoring, no judging. Let's have a big round of applause for both men, Antoine Hughley and Chase Wolford.